Hey guys, Alex Korn here, and I am watching the beautiful sunset at Halong Bay. Halong stands for Lying Dragon. Wear my Golden Dragon t-shirt just to match the theme. Hey, we are going to talk about in affiliate marketing. If you find this video series helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button and be alerted so that you don't miss an exciting episode of the Billy Marketing from Allah Bay. Hi guys, what's up? I am indoors again, still in Hanoi. We are going to take a deep dive in this video and actually create a funnel, simulate a funnel, and then use AI chat GPT to fill in the funnel with the content. But before we do that, let's do a food check. Since we are in Vietnam, I am going to show you something that's like simply delectable. Vietnam is actually a country that has a huge coastline. There are also two major rivers, one in the north called the Red River, which is huge, runs all the way from China. And then one in the south, which is the Mekong River, which runs to multiple countries out into the ocean. What we're seeing here is salmon wrapped in lotus leaf. I'm a big fan of salmon, really, really delicious, but this is a very unique way of preparing it. It's wrapped in a lotus leaf and a lotus leaf is very versatile, you see, because it has the leaves, it has the paws and the peanuts that you can eat raw. I didn't know that until I got here, but it just keeps the moisture and the flavors inside the fish so that when you open it up, ah, oh, it's definitely delectable. Pair it up with the Vietnamese rice, and you have such a sumptuous meal. All right, now let's go on to the content. So we are going to talk about something that I think very few other people talk about when they talk about email marketing, when they talk about creating a funnel, and that is the simulation of a funnel. Because it's one thing to create a funnel, it's another thing to see whether the funnel is profitable before you build the funnel, before you run traffic to it. I'm going to take you my computer in just a little bit so that we can go through it step by step, but let's talk about concepts here. Okay. The concept is simple. There's the offer, which is the product, the affiliate product. There's the content and then there's a funnel and then there's the conversion. Now we're all creators here. So we understand the product. We understand the draw to our channel, to our creation, whatever it is, whether it's a physical product creation or entertainment creation, we, we understand that. Then we understand the traffic, which is the people coming to our, our channel or to our website looking at our creation. Then we understand the, the conversion. Now map that to an email sequence, map that to a sales funnel, then you understand that it's, it's the same pieces to this puzzle. We just got to know how much it costs to lead a prospect along their journey, along their funnel, and each piece, each step along the journey costs money. So let's just simulate that so that we understand how much it costs to actually get a prospect from the top of the funnel down to the bottom of the funnel and then what the conversion is. Compare that to how much we'll get paid when we get a conversion and then we'll know whether this is going to be a profitable activity or not. If it's not profitable, then we have a couple of things to consider. Can we make the funnel more efficient? so that we can get more profits or can we get a higher pay offer so that even though it'll cost us X, the offer pays us X plus some percentage more so that we are profitably in the end. Does that make sense? If it's not, if it doesn't make sense, then good news. Let's go behind the computer now and have a look at how we do this step by step by step. See you there. I am in front of my computer now. And I wanted to show you a uh, diagram of what your funnel could look like and then talk about how we would simulate the funnel before we actually build it. And then we'll actually build uh, pieces of it so that we will have a live working funnel. We're going to use a combination of a funnel simulation tool as well as uh, ChatGPT to 
basically help us fill in each component of the funnel. You ready for this? Before we get started though, let me just remind you that the whole point of visualizing your funnel and then running a simulation to your funnel so that you can have an idea about how much it'll cost you per lead. Remember, we have to get traffic through this funnel and traffic is usually not free. And before we spend money, we want to make sure that we have an expectations on how much we'll spend versus how much we'll get paid for that traffic. Some of you might say, well, yeah, the traffic can be free if I send them my list. It's true, but any kind of investment on your part needs to be accounted for and needs to have an ROI, whether it's quote unquote organic or paid traffic. I hope that makes sense. So we are going to use a survey funnel as an example. That's called an ask funnel based on Ryan Leves's uh, excellent book on the ask method. And the reason why we want to go with this is because when you build out your um, email list initially, it's important to segment them. And if you watch my previous videos, you know that it's important to uh, segment your subscribers, your followers, your email list people into uh, segments based on what they are interested in. Okay. Because not everyone on your list will be interested in the same things. And because we have the technology to segment, we do so that we can serve up content that is relevant to them. And when the content is relevant to them, the uh, engagement rate, the click through rate and the conversion rate goes way, way up. This is a huge advantage over just communicating with them on your socials, because on your socials, they may like your content, but you don't know who liked it and you can't serve specific content, more of the, that specific content to people who liked your content. You just have to throw a lot of uh, mud on the wall and see what sticks. Whereas on your email list, you have a lot more flexibility. And that's yet another reason why we want to keep building our email list so that we can serve up very targeted content for, for people based on what they like. So in the ask method, we start with a lead magnet, and we talked about that in previous videos. These are digital products most of the time that you can offer to the people on your, your page or your traffic to get them onto your list. Once they onto your list using the lead magnet, you still need to figure out why, you know, who are they and you need to segment them. And that's where we have the survey right out there to get the lead magnet. And then we send them to a thank you page. On the thank you page, we encourage them to check and whitelist the emails from us so that they will receive e a further communication from us. For more advanced people, more advanced marketers, which you will be soon, you can actually have the offer right on the thank you page and you can see if you can start monetizing right away. Um, the conversion rate won't be that high, but it's real estate that's wasted otherwise. So keep that in mind if you want to simulate that. Then we go to the email sequence where we um, ask for more feedback that makes sense and then more email content. And this can be content stringed over days or weeks or months even, but I encourage you to keep it as short as possible so that you can actually back out the lead, meaning and start converting leads to uh, offers. And then the content page is basically more useful content. And this is where you start introducing the offers to them. I'm using a tool called Giru, which allows me to simulate all of this. I can actually put in the traffic, whether it's from Google, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, you name it. Okay. And input the data here. I can input how much the traffic costs all along this funnel here. I can simulate refunds because keep in mind that even though we're looking at affiliate offers, there will be refunds. So we need to account for that as well. Whether it's 1% or 3% or 10%, we need to account for that. And then at the end of the day, a simulation here, we can get a number as to how much it'll cost to get the traffic, but also to basically convert them and, and what we get as a net. I don't have any real numbers here, so you see negative, but when you get real numbers, you'll get that. By the way, I'm going through this quickly because this is a YouTube video, but if you want to go into a deep dive on exactly how to build all of this stuff, consider going over to Quincep and signing up for a masterclass on email marketing, where we actually go through this step-by-step -step and go into a lot more detail. 
Okay. But uh, on this YouTube video, I want to give you as much value as possible so that if you know what to do after this, you can go ahead and start doing it and making it so on your own. All right. So the next step then is to start filling in each piece of this funnel. In the old days before uh, generative AI, we would have to cobble together a bunch of information on our own. It's very difficult. Whereas nowadays with generative AI, it makes this a lot, lot easier. Let's go over to ChatGPT now. You can, it's your choice, whatever you want to use is fine. But in this example, I wanted to create a scenario and this may may not be you, but let's pretend this is you. If that's the case, I go into ChatGPT and I give it a prompt. Uh, ChatGPT works a lot better if you converse with it first, okay? This is a single prompt right here. And normally I don't do it this way because it, the more information it gets, the better data it spits out for you. Okay? But this is, this is again, a, a short YouTube video. And if we were to spend two hours here, you would just fall off and <laughs> not follow the video. But if you're interested in really a deep dive in here, just go over to quinceps.com and we can work together there. All right, so let's start with the prompt and let's assume that you are an Instagram creator and you create content about how to sew uh, your own cottagecore outfits. That's your niche. You would like to get followers on your email list and you're thinking about using AskFunnel to get them onto your list. So please give me some ideas, ChatGPT, for a lead magnet. And that's what I put in my prompt. And here are some ideas, okay? So let's say you are indeed in this niche. The first suggestion is to create a cottage core sewing guide ebook. Easy to do, right? You can actually have chat GPT create this for you. You can create exclusive sewing pattern where you give them patterns that aren't available elsewhere and where you haven't actually created content for this in the past or on your channel. You can do sewing video tutorials, same concept, but with videos. You can create printable fabric swatch cards. You can do cottage core styling tips and lookbook. You can create weekly or monthly sewing challenges. Do cottage core sewing resource lists. You can do a wardrobe planner. List goes on. Or you might have some ideas on your own already just to get you jump started if you don't have an idea already for your lead magnet. Let's suppose that you like one of these things. Let's say that like monthly sewing challenges. Okay. So let's say you want to do a sewing challenge. So you would tell Chad GBD. Okay, as simple as that. Let's see what it comes up with. So I do that. And then here, it comes up with a seven day sewing challenge. Now, you'll need to read each of these days and contents individually, make sure it makes sense. And it would or would not, if you were indeed in this niche. If you weren't in this niche, and then of course you would know what it's talking about. But let's say you are in this niche and you read carefully, it makes sense. And it, then if it doesn't make sense, then you add, ask it to, you know, uh, change things. Like for example, I don't like day six. I prefer something else. So this is one another idea. All right. So if I'll do that, it, it'll give you a cottage core patchwork project instead. And you can change, you can uh, modify as much as you want because it'll keep doing that tirelessly since it's a machine. And then once you get the challenge perfect, to your liking, then you can read it. You would actually build out the page right here for the lead magnet. Next is the survey. So we we'll go back in here and the second step in my S funnel is the survey. Please create a survey of the people who signed up for the challenge so that I can begin to segment my list. All right, so we'll do that. Here's a sample survey. You can take the survey as is if you're happy with it, or you can ask it to modify each element, each question, if it doesn't make any sense, or you can ask it to shorten it if there are too many questions. You can create the survey inside of your email marketing system, for example, Aweber, or if it's MailChimp or something, or you can actually use SurveyMonkey, do that, and then have SurveyMonkey send the data to your email marketing system. It's up to you, okay? depending on your email marketing system, your flows, but that would be this step right here, the survey. Then comes a thank you page. So let's ask ChatGPT. No, right? So I'm copy for my thanks you after they fill out the survey. Now here's a little neat trick for you, if you don't know already. You can actually ask 
ChatGPT to write in a sort of tone according to, you know, how you normally sound or you can do it yourself. But let's say that you normally sound like Martha Stewart. Then you can ask it to write in the tone of Martha Stewart. And if you don't like it, the output, then you can tweak it, of course, but you can ask it right now, right? In the helpful and warm tone of Martha Stewart. Okay, so it's going to do that. So here's what it spit out. Thank you for joining our Carver Course Selling Challenge. Okay, hello, okay. your feedback matters. What's next? Join the sewing community, ideas. All right, so you can tweak this to your heart's delight, but this is a great starting point. Otherwise, you'll have a blank page to work with. So that's the next step of the funnel. Now, you are going to go to the email. Go over here. Next is now write the So we'll do that. And here's the email if you want. Hello, Cotter's Core creators. Welcome to our cozy corner of creativity. We're absolutely delighted to have you as part of our Cotter's Core Sewing Challenge community. It's Stitch in Time, a warm welcome. What to expect? Connect with us. Have any questions? Okay. So here, I wanted to give you another ninja trick. And it's really important for email deliverability because most of the time, your email will end up in spam or end up in promotions and they'll never see it. And that's no good. Okay. So what you want to do is you want them to reply to you right away in the first email. And that's really important here. So right here, the, the uh, AI bot didn't ask for something here, but we are going to ask for something. This is a really important guy. So that's what it said. Certainly encouraging subscribers to engage your email by replying can improve your email deliverability. Here's a modified book email that includes a call to action. That's what you want. Okay, so it changed it to welcome to the Cottage Core Sewing family. Let's chat. Hello, Cottage Core creators. Welcome to our cozy corner of creativity. We're absolutely delighted to have you as part of our Cottage Core Sewing Challenge. It's just on top of the expect, connect with us, join our Instagram community, have questions where to help because it asks us to join the Instagram community, but actually we want to get people off of Instagram. We already have them here. So let's correct it. You know, with chat GPT, that's exactly what you need to do. You need to chat with it. You know, you won't get it right the first time. So don't get discouraged. This is actually a process about back and forth. And um, it may seem time consuming at a time, but don't forget, if you had to do this from scratch by yourself, like in olden days, like in 2022, it'll take you a lot, lot longer. So don't discourage, keep chatting with it. It's like a friend, it's like an assistant and um, even with human assistant, you have to go back and forth with them. So that's what we're doing here. So, okay. Already part of our Instagram community. Let's connect. We're thrilled that you're, you're following me on Instagram. Thank you for being part. Let's chat. I'll do it later. So what we want to do is something like immediate. So I'm going to say, Those gifts make sense. The way you can ask a chat GP too, does this make sense? Because you'll do it logically, be honest. Oof. Okay, there you go. You can actually do that because it's really smart. Okay, absolutely. Your goal is to make the email subscriber feel compelled to reply. To achieve this, you can create a sense of curiosity and value an email. Here's an updated welcome email that includes the compelling reasons for subscribers to reply. So there you go. Let's start a creative conversation. Okay. 
to kick off our journey together, we prepare something special for you. Reply to this email with your biggest Carter Score Sewing Challenge, a Carter Score design that inspires you, a statistics about your sewing experience, or your go-to best practice. Share whatever you come up with and let's start engaging conversation right away. This is okay. I probably still work this out because I don't think this is compelling enough, but I think you get an idea. Okay. We can, we could probably spend another half an hour doing this and, um, we'll probably get to something where they're really compelled to do it. And I'm sure you can do that just by working chat GPT on your niche. But I just wanted to, to show you that it's important to come up with a, with some sort of reply, like right away. Otherwise your following messages will or may get lost and they won't see it. So work with chat GPT can make some sort of reply or reason to reply that's compelling and they'll, they'll take the call to action right away for your niche. So let's go back to the ask funnel. Let's do the email day two. So you will come up with day two. And again, you may take it as this, and you may modify it to suit your tone, suit your niche, suit your sense of what a challenge might look like in day two. But this is a great way to start rather than blank a piece of paper. Then you do it for day three, then you do it for day four, then day five, day six, then day seven. Now you probably want to test whether you introduce your offer in day three and or day seven, because some people may not finish the challenge and by day seven, you would have lost like 50% or more of the people who signed up for your challenge. So keep that in mind. That's why I like to introduce the offer right on day three. And also day seven, the offer goes to a content page in the email. You can certainly, you know, see the offer and all that, but they'll need to get to the content page eventually. So you need to get them there. And this is where we do a pre-sale because a pre-sale basically warms them up to the content. Whereas if you sent them up directly to the content, it's not very warm. So I'm going to tell JGPT to help me with that. Okay, so chat GCP will help with that. Now, in this example, I didn't give it specifics on a sewing program. What you want to do is to give it specifics on a sewing program. The more specific, the better. In fact, if you can cut and paste a copy of the sales program here, it will really help. Here is a, here's day three, and then you'll, you'll put the link here. It'll go to the offer page. So that's it. Now. You will want to continue to communicate and nurture and develop a relationship with this, uh, uh, with the people on this email list, even after this challenge. So e after day seven, you'll want to regularly communicate with them. And by the way, you would have segmented your list already. So the way you communicate with segment A will be different from segment B versus segment C and D and so forth. Does that make sense? That's why we want segmentation. Okay. So. I hope this was helpful for you and I hope that you can uh, have some success in, as, in setting up your own ask funnel. Remember that we, we do have a program that goes into email marketing, uh, both in the basic stage and the advanced stages over at Gwensas.com. And if you uh, feel that you need additional handholding, additional step-by-step, -step, go, go over to Gwensas.com and sign up for it there. Otherwise, I wish you the very best of luck in getting this up and running. Remember that getting the sales funnel mapped out and simulated is very important because if you don't, then you have no idea how, whether or not uh, your funnel will be you know, negative or positive from the get-go because sometimes you run the simulation and you'll see that it's going to be negative so what's the point choose another offer. choose an offer that has a higher payout that's it for now guys if you are interested in this kind of videos in the future go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification so that you don't miss another detailed episode on how to be an affiliate marketer if you are a leader. until next time i wish you the very best see ya